I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole U TV for another midweek show. Uh, first of all, well done to all the U's fans that made the long trip up to Tranmere and back for the weekend's game. Of course, not the result we wanted. Uh, let's take a look, first of all, at the action of the game itself. So we looked fairly good in the first half, but the hosts were comfortable into the second half. Bit of a scrappy game, uh, but still plenty to take away with the boss confident going into this weekend. And this is what Wayne had to say after the game. One win, a 2 0 defeat, your thoughts? Yeah, um, mixed emotions really. I thought we, uh, we identified from early stages where we we're going to get our success where the space was going to be I thought the intent from the lads today was to go out and ex um, execute those those sort of instruction that I did think for large spells of the game we did um, our retention of the ball was a lot better today we got into wide areas which is the, the idea of the areas that we identified where we were going to get our success um, and we have four really good chances in the first half and that was the difference um, that's the difference they've put uh, two of their chances away today uh, one of which was in the first half one of which was in the second half they get into our box five times in the second half and they score a goal um, we have lots of possession and um, for all of our possession in the second half did we really create overly a, a lot in the second half probably not probably not as much as we should be doing so we're lacking quality in, in the final third um, but as I said look we've, we've had this discussion many many times you know the, the chances that you do create in, in the first half they've got to be in the back of the net chances to change games ultimately both from our perspective and their perspective mentally um, and we need to start finding a net because if we don't then we're going to find it very hard to win games of football Yeah you said you had mixed thoughts the team was better first half than it was second half Yeah it was better but I still think that we dominated the game of football possession wise in the second half something that we haven't done for a, for a long time especially away from home so that's a big positive that we, we did play well and, and we kept the ball and our, our, our pass selection and decisions were good um, it was just in, in that sort of final third, if you like, where we did lack the quality, whether it be a cross, whether it be a slide ball, uh, whether it be getting somebody on the end of a cross, um, whether it's a shoot, whether it's a slide. All of these decisions ultimately needs to be down to the individual on the day. But as I said, we, we played well enough in, in the game, and I'm sure if there was anybody here, um, a neutral, we, we're obviously the better team um, with the chances that we create and the possession that we have. But ultimately, we lose the game before. Because it's all about taking the chances and or stopping the chances. So let's talk about the key moments of the game. Two goals conceded. It's the first one that gives you say about the importance of goals and the impact they have on games. It's the first one that's crucial. 
could anything have been done better defensively to stop that goal? Yeah, it's a tough place to come. You know, they get behind um, their, their obviously their players at home. Um, they was always going to start the game on the front foot, and it was down to us to match them and better them. I thought for the first four minutes we were second best, regards to winning our battles, first and second balls. Um, they get a stroke of luck if you like, clamps blocks the first cross and it ricochets back to their man. But then he stands it up at the back stick and ultimately they have a free man in the box and we don't defend the back stick, which is criminal. Um, car carbon copy really of, of the second goal, although we are a little bit more stretched and we are out of sync. They still have one man in the bo box against three of our players and it ends up in the back of our net. So. It's real soft, really, really soft defensively um, and something that we need to do better at. We need to take accountability, um, me included in that, um, to be better defensively in our own box because the very few chances that they had today, they rather tested our goalkeeper or they, the ball was in the back of the net. The chances that we have, um, that they've made a few blocks and the keeper's made a few saves, but only that they don't end up in the back of the net. Created four chances in the first half, but there's one chance that stands out. It's the opportunity for Frank Nubley uh, to net just before half time. You must have thought he was a certain scorer from that position close in. Well, I thought Noobs was a certain scorer, Nuby was a certain scorer on the back stick of, of obviously the cross that ultimately they take and we don't. Uh, Frank misses one from six yards. Um, they have probably three blocks on the six yard box from, from their defenders. Um, but ultimately, we need to find a way. Other teams do. Other teams are ruthless in, in the box. And at the moment, we're, we're finding it tough to um, to get the ball in, into the back of the net. And uh, as I say, we had a couple of good opportunities, albeit from set plays. Nubi had one from a header on uh, on Tuesday, and it don't end up in the back of the net. So, listen, goals change games. Goals win games of football. Um, and until we start putting the ball in the back of the net and being ruthless, then uh, ultimately we, we don't stand good chances of winning games of football. Do you feel a bit unlucky that you've just won one game in the uh, out of six in the opening stages of the season, or are you? Do you believe that's about right in terms of the performances of the players? Well, you tell me. You know, you, you do the interviews with me after every game. You keep saying we're unlucky, we're unlucky. Well, yeah, we are unlucky because we do play well against um, Northampton second half of, of, of that game. And the fine margins, penalty decisions, call it what you will, they go their way. So you tell me. Um, you know, the second half against Carlisle, when we dominate the game of football and we create another four opportunities to score goals. Is it unluck or is it not being ruthless in the box? It's probably a mixture of both. But as I said to you before last week, I'm not interested in hard luck. You know, ultimately I'm judged on performances and more importantly results. Um, we got a really good performance today and we created a lot of chances, but ultimately we don't end up with no points. And and, and that's where the buck stops. The buck stops with me and not getting those um, those three points or even a point away from home. But ultimately then there needs to be a bit of realism. Um, we've not come here and laid down. Um, we've come here and we've given it a good go. We've dominated the, the play. We're the better team, head and shoulders, a better team um, at Tranmere away. Uh, we create a lot more opportunities than they do. Um, so there's loads and loads of positives to come out of the game. And that's where the realism needs to, needs to happen. And we need to keep being positive. You know, we've got now a run of fixtures where you look at it and you go, right, come on, we've got a good squeak. And if we keep playing the way that we are in this game and creating as many as we are in this game, the results will come. So Wayne, picking out the positives there, and I'm sure they'll be working on all those in the training ground, on the training ground this week. Uh, an important three points for us at the weekend, of course, uh, against Hartlepool. Someone who will be hoping for some more game time is Kieran O'Hara. He spoke to BBC Essex after the game. One. Kieran, you and all the players must be disappointed that the team's lost this game two goals to nil. Yeah, of course, you know, you're disappointed with any loss, um, you know, but we've come here away today um, and dominated the game in large spells, which obviously the result doesn't reflect. Um, so, yeah, it makes it even more disappointing from our, our point of view. And disappointing because defensively you've ensured that Tramway haven't opened you up much, They've, they haven't created many chances. No, yeah, like you said, you're right. Um, they didn't create too many chances. We nullified a lot of their threats, um, and now it's just a case of, of, you know, really narrowing down their chances to to nothing and, and making sure that we can kind of start keep, keeping clean sheets again. No goalkeepers like conceding goals. Anything you could have done with uh, with those finishes by Hawks and Burton? Two, yeah, too difficult, too difficult, um, too difficult goals to concede. Um, obviously, from the 
back post. Just coming across my goal, trying to cover as much as I can. Um, two good finishes. I've not watched them back yet, but I'm sure I'll pick them apart. And you're watching from the other end of the pitch. Great chance for Frank Newblay. He looked nailed on to score. Yeah, yeah, like great chances. We, we created a few of them throughout the game. And the next step now is to start putting them away um, and, and giving us you know, chances to start winning football matches. Football's such a game of tight margins, isn't it? Missed chances at one end, come see the other, and a performance then becomes a poor performance because one side finds the back of the net and the other doesn't. Yeah, you know, especially at this level, um, all games are, are going to be quite tight. Um, you know, I thought we did create chances and... Um, and you know, like I said, the next step's putting them away. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can do that going forward, and hopefully those uh, small margins start going our way. Let's let's talk about you, debut against Premier League outfit Brentford Tuesday. Had a good game. Not a bad way of starting your Colchester career. Yeah, of course. Obviously, that was um, that was my debut on Tuesday. Um, yeah, just um, was was obviously happy to get to get the shout. Um, and yeah, I thought. Um, I, felt, I felt I felt good, obviously, um, that the manager had put his faith in me to put me in, um, and, and, and like to think I'd take the opportunity. Um, was that a, a late decision? Were you able to get the family saying, I'm, I'm, "I'm playing, I'm playing against Brentford, Premier League"? Were, they, were any of them able to get there? Uh, no, we obviously like we knew the day before, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, um, it's a long way to come for my family to get down. But um, so they, they didn't make it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm obviously pleased to, to get in. And like I say, against Premier League opposition, hopefully we, we made a decent enough account of ourselves. I thought you said the family was from Manchester, from from the northwest. It's not that far to watch you make your debut yeah. against Brentford. Yeah, well, obviously it's, it's four hours. It's a Tuesday night, so um, they, they, they didn't come, but they were, they were here today. Now, here's the interesting thing: you, you kept your place between the sticks ahead of Sam Hornby. Were you, were you hoping that you'd, you'd you'd get to play again? It must have been a, a not an easy decision for the boss. Yeah, of course we've got competition all over the pitch, which is a good thing. Uh, like I said, when I come, um, you know, competition, especially in football teams, is a good thing. Um, pushes performance to the players, and it's good to have each position covered with with quality. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I've had competition everywhere I've been. But this is you. There's no substitute for playing, and you haven't. On reflection, I would have thought. Played enough football, been in the first team enough. That's what you want. Yeah, of course. Um, like you say, um, I've, I've, obviously at previous clubs, I've, I've played a lot of football. Um, coming here, you know, the, the idea is always to play and push ourselves and, and you know and help the team and get results and, and you know uh, climb the table. And you do you enjoy being goalkeeper? I'd be worried all the time. I was going to let one in. Can you actually jo- enjoy playing the game? Yeah, I think. Um, I've got to the point now where, uh, yeah, you know, I've played a lot of football. I enjoy the games, and, and you know, it's what I've done since a, since a young age. So I don't know any different. But it's you know, you're in a real competition for that starting place. There's just one place for a goalkeeper. Of course, yeah. Um, like I say, there's competition all over the pitch. Um, but it's harder for goalkeepers because it's not like I'm missing out right back, but I might get in at left back or a central defender or even a central midfielder. I'm afraid it's it's goalkeeper. That's or not or, or, or no place in the starting lineup. Yeah, of course, it's one position, um, and 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 like you say, it's um it's, it's good to have a, a healthy competition between between two quality players in um, in every position. So yeah, hopefully I can you know continue to put performances in and, and start getting results uh, that the team needs. Thanks, Keith. So Kieran will be battling it out with Sam for the starting spot this weekend and we'll bring you all the action in the pre-match show. Another thing we'll also bring you on Saturday is the goal of the month. So let's take a look at the contenders.
So a couple of goals from Noah there, one from Tom and one from Luke. Who will you be voting for? Uh, you can vote now and it will be open until Friday. Go to, of course, coluticket.com. With the winner, we will reveal on Saturday afternoon's show. Now, we've kept you waiting long enough. Here's the first interview with our newest arrival, Barili Lubaba, who also, also likes to be known as Bez. There's still a couple of days left of the transfer window, but you've moved to Colchester United. You know, how did you find out the news and how quickly did it all happen? Yeah, um, it happened pretty quick. Um, got the call from my, my agent saying that our coaches would be interested. Um, and not soon after that, I um, was on the phone to the gaffer. Um, and he was just explaining why he wants me to come in and, and uh, to add to the team, to add to the work that the club's doing at the moment. So uh, I was delighted to get it done and to, to be over here. Obviously, uh, you've been training uh, with the, the lads this morning. Have you settled in? Yeah, settled in pretty quick. It's a, it's a good group, group group of lads. Um, played against Colchester a few times, so I know what some of the lads are about. And um, so, yeah, it was just great to, to get straight straight in and training with the boys, yeah. And the good thing for you, I suppose, is you've got good experience at, at this level as well, so you're not coming into something new. Yeah, so I've, I've played at this level, so just want to help the team. The main thing is winning, winning games, getting three points, so... However, I can help the team moving forward. Um, it's my goal, really. So um, we've got Hartlepool on Saturday, so that's a big game for us, and hoping to get three points on the board. Obviously, uh, you know, how's your pre-season gone, and you know, have you got lots of work under your belt in that se uh, sessions? Yeah, yeah. So pre-season's been really good, to be fair, uh, at Blackpool. Um, so been well played a lot of minutes. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to go and um, ready to get on the pitch and show the coaches to the fans what I can do yeah yeah and what will those fans that haven't seen you or haven't heard too much about you what will uh, they be expecting from you what can you bring yeah it would just be definitely be 100% every time I step out there um, fighting for the club fighting for the fans and, and fighting for my teammates and whatever it takes to win really um, hoping to be getting creating scoring goals as well um, yeah just be a be a good team player and make sure that we get them three points at the end of the at the end of the weekend. Yeah, and obviously, you know, as all players that come to different clubs on loan, you wanted to get as many minutes under your belt as you possibly can in this spell. Yeah, definitely, and doing that is going to be um, key, getting minutes, getting games, um, most importantly, getting the, the three points at the end of the weekend, yeah. So it's good to have Perilli, or Bez as he likes to be known, yeah, on board here with us at Colchester. He had a full pre-season with Blackpool and has been on the bench for them uh, a couple of times this season. So we'll be chomping at the bit to get involved at the weekend. Uh, if you want to send anything into us for the programme, for the big screen on match days, or indeed for a mention maybe on one of these shows, do send anything Colu related into media at Colchester United. Net. Someone else who would like to see back involved with the first team, and hopefully that will be uh, soon, will be Shay Cooper. I'm going to leave you with the highlights from our 2-0 final day victory against Hartlepool in May when Shay Cooper scored that absolute cracker of a debut goal. Have a great week, and uh, I'll see you again on Saturday for the pre-match show. Until then, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>